Ni hao, this is Li Tao Chinese. My name is Zheng Tao. I'm your Chinese teacher. Welcome to Ask Li Tao. In each video of this series, we are going to answer your questions about learning Chinese from comments or emails. Today's question is from our YouTube student, whose username is Positive Learner. 老师 I have a problem with 给 and 送 What's the difference between them? How can I use them? Thanks. Here is the answer. 给 and 送 can both be used as a verb to express the meaning of to give. When we say 给 somebody something, this thing could be a gift, which we don't need to give back or pay for it. It also could not be a gift. We need the context to figure out which one the speaker really means. But when we say 送 Somebody something. The thing is given as a gift for sure. For example, 他给了我一本书。他给了我一本书。The book could be given to me as a gift, or he just lets me read the book. I have to give it back to him later. Without the context, the meaning of this sentence is not clear. But 他送了我一本书。他送了我一本书。The meaning of this sentence is very clear. We know that he gave me a book as a gift. We can use 给 to order food or drinks, like at the coffee shop. You ask them to give you a cup of coffee. You can say, 请给我一杯咖啡。请给我一杯咖啡。Please give me a cup of coffee. We know the coffee is not for free. You need to pay for it. That would be weird if you say, 请送我一杯咖啡 because 请送我一杯咖啡 means please give me a cup of coffee as a gift or please give me a cup of coffee for free. There is a chance you can say this sentence, which you already bought, let's say, ten cups of coffee, and you want to get some kind of discount. Then you ask them. To give you another cup of coffee for free. In this situation, 请送我一杯咖啡 would make sense. 送 has several meanings that 给 doesn't have. The first meaning is to deliver. For example, you called for takeout. Then you tell them where the food should be delivered to. 请送到南京路八十八号。请送到南京路八十八号。Please deliver to number eighty-eight Nanjing Road. The second meaning is to see somebody off or out. For example, your good friend is leaving tomorrow, so you tell your friend, 明天我去机场送你。明天我去机场送你。Tomorrow I will go to see you off at airport. You go to airport to say goodbye to your friend. The third meaning is to take someone to somewhere. For example, you are going home from work, but suddenly it started raining heavily. So you ask a colleague who drives if she or he can take you to subway station. You 可以送我到地铁站吗？你可以送我到地铁站吗？ Could you take me to subway station? Song can only be a verb, but 给 can also be a preposition, and often be translated as to or for. We already saw 给 as a preposition many times in lesson fifteen, twenty-four, thirty-seven, and forty of our elementary Chinese course. Here is a question for you. How do you say "buy one, get one free" in Chinese? 买一给一 or 买一送一 Please leave your answer in comments. That's all for today's Ask Li Tao. Feel free to leave your questions in comments or email us at service at li tao chinese dot com if you want to learn Chinese in a systematic and efficient way. Please visit our website. Li Tao Chinese dot com to get the full version courses and more learning support. See you next time. 再见。